and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell button to get notified every time I upload a video. Also, don't forget to hit the like button down below and leave a comment because all of those things do help my channel grow. I haven't mentioned in a while, but I do also have an Instagram page. It's called Amber's To-Do List, just like my channel name. Um, I'm not super, super active on it, but I do show like things like I've shown a little bit about what the elves have been doing um, and just some random pictures here and there. So if that's something you're interested in, I do plan in 2023 to work harder on growing that um, social media as well, working on um, kind of better utilizing it. So head over to Instagram for Amber's to-do list and check that out. Today for you, I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul, lots of wish list items that I was hoping to find, stocking stuffer type things, um, just little toys that I found at Dollar Tree that I thought were worth a share. Some of them were wish list, some of them were just random finds. Um, and at the end, I do have two packages of Happy Mail that I want to share with you guys that have arrived. Uh, I need to run back down to my post office. So if you've sent anything recently I have not gotten down there every time I think about it it's past hours so um but I got two at the end of last week I think I'm a little late this week I was wrapping gifts on Monday and I just never got in front of the camera because I got in the zone I didn't have any kids and I was wrapping their gifts so I'm a day late but here we are and some gifts are in here so I need to make sure to get them shared with you so let's get going today on the Dollar Tree haul first of all let's show some of the toy wish list items that I was hoping to find and I did um, first of all, were these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle build it? And so when I was a kid, I loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This takes me back to my childhood. I went to a concert once that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, so this was back in my day. Michelangelo and Raphael were my two favorites. Um, so the red guy and the orange guy. But I thought that this was really neat to find there. So I... I'm not probably gifting these. I don't think my kids are really into the Ninja Turtles. But my thought is, is I want to do Easter baskets. I'm too late for toy donations for Christmas. I realized that um, when I just never got anything together. But if you were with, my, with me last year for Easter, I made 20 Easter baskets and donated them to the Denver Rescue Mission here in Colorado. Um, most of everything, almost everything was funded by my husband's boss because she likes to do that. And so it was kind of a joint effort that she funded it and I purchased and put them all together. And I thought since I'm gonna have a bunch of toys on hand that maybe I'll put some together. So fund and put them together. So that's what I'm kind of thinking with these unless I decide to be nostalgic and keep them. But I thought that those were a super, super cool find. If you have kids that are into that, that is a, such an amazing stocking stuffer. And then the other set that I found was SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm going to be honest, I cannot stand the show. My kids, I don't really let them watch it because it annoys me so much. But it, I thought it was a great find. So, um, and not to say that the kids don't laugh at the silliness of SpongeBob. And so this one was a three pack. It says collect them all. And it shows on the back that it's the three. So I picked them all up. Again, I might do an Easter basket with these. I think that that's good because of the age group that that would go towards is a touch older than like the little kids. And when you're doing things like Easter baskets and stuff, it's harder for the older kids. And then I had two other things. I have two other SpongeBob things, but we'll get there. Um, I found, let's see if I have them all on top. I have a, a bag. My bag is full. Like it's full. I finally found these. I saw them getting hauled. I did bypass them at one point and then I did pick them up. I don't know if I'm going to gift them to Lorelai. She loves scrunchies and she loves squishmallows, squashmallows. And these kind of remind me of those, but these are also not necessarily the type of scrunchies I think would work great in her hair. So again, I might hold on to these and do them for Easter even if it's for Lorelai for Easter. And some of this stuff too for my boys, if I want to wait until Easter and hold on to some of this stuff because they're great for Easter baskets. And so I picked up this one. It's like a kitty unicorn. Or an, yeah, I feel like a kitty unicorn. It's a looks like a kitty with a horn and it's blue. And this one is just a kitty cat and it's a pink scrunchie. And this one is also just a kitty cat and it's kind of like a tie-dye pretty color scrunchie with a white kitty cat. So Actually, I might save those for Easter. I feel like they're a great Easter find. And um, I think she'd like them. So that's probably what I'll do with those. And blind bags. There are so many blind bags at Dollar Tree right now. And 
I have picked up a bunch. I picked some of them up with plans to gift them and do them. And then I'm like, well, no. Then I found ones that I like better. So I've ended up with a lot of these blind bags. Again, I think I'm going to hold them for Easter and put together Easter baskets. Um, and yeah, that's, I think, my plan. So these ones I picked up, they are a surprise animal eraser. Includes four animal erasers. I might put these in my kids' countdown to Christmas bucket. I showed those um a couple hauls ago I think and I like to I'm gonna put the like five blind bags in there and I might do this one too in there I think that that would be fun um in their little bucket that they're getting tomorrow so today's Tuesday so tomorrow on Wednesday they're getting those and so I might toss this in there too just to add to the fun because any blind bags are fun the kids seem to like these little things so I'll probably do that. I would open one, but I only bought three and I have three kids, so I can't open and share those ones. Let's see, the other ones I found are these guys. I'm trying to put them in the right order of what they are. I think it's a four. I think it's all four of these kind of go together, but they're all kind of different. So we have, oh, I have two Disney princesses. We have Barbie and we have many of these ones. So let's see, let's start with the Disney princesses. Oh, they're different though. <clears throat> so this one says it is a surprise stamper activity includes a character stamper which one will you get and then this princess's one says it is a surprise jewelry activity contains one charm eight beads and one necklace so two different princess ones out there I don't think I realized that when I picked them up so keep an eye out if you're looking for blind bags at kind of the differences and then Barbie is also the surprise stamper activity, includes a character stamper. And according to the picture on the back, it looks like it includes like paper to stamp on on those ones because they both have kind of that different bordered little paper. So I assume, well, yeah, one stamper and two activity sheets. So those must be the activity sheets. It looks just like little papers that they can stamp on. And then this one is also the surprise jewelry activity. One charm, eight beads, one bracelet. And it could be Minnie, Mickey, or Daisy, it looks like. So that are that is those. This is that. Those are these. That's those little surprise bags. And then lastly, I think, unless I find more in there, because like I said, this is a full bag, um, we have the Glam Pack Surprise. So this one is... Does it give me anything... On the picture on the back, it looks like it could be like a lip gloss, a little hair barrette, a little ring. How to use the lip balmer gloss, open cap and apply to lips. The hair clip, squeeze to clip open and place in hair and release. Or the ring, place on finger. I like that they give directions for that. So it looks like it could be one of the three of those. Lip gloss, a hair thing, or a ring. So those are cute. Also Easter, I'm thinking for those. I have more, well, I guess I have SpongeBob, turtles, and then these. So I have some, you know, for all three of the kids if I wanted to use those for Easter baskets, or I might use them for donations. Um, I think I've hauled one of these already once before. I picked up another one. These are going to be, I'm going to put them together and do them for Lorelai for a gift for Christmas because she likes, she's not super into Barbie. But she's kind of into Barbie and this is cute because it comes with a little dog it looks like. So you get a little animal, some sort of accessory for the animal, some color of backpack and maybe some sort of jacket and it says their color water reveal. So Color reveal, water reveal. It says both of those on there. So it comes with one backpack, one pet, and three accessories. And she loves that kind of stuff, even if it's Barbie. And so I picked up one already. I hauled it. Um, and then I figured it's a nice gift to put them both together. Be mindful, though, if you go to Dollar Tree, they have a different type of this that are in the $3 section. So it's almost the same, but like different. It's a color reveal, but it's not the pet, I think, because I took one of those up and it rang up $3, and I had that and this one, so one of them rang up three. I said, no, take that off. I just want the one that's $1.25, and this one was $1.25. So if you have um, the bonus section in your stores, be mindful of that. Oh, I didn't come out my shirt yet. So I wore my Frosty the Snowman shirt because it's five days till Christmas. It's actually a pajama top, but that's okay. It's still like soft and soft fleecy, and it works because it's just soft and cute and Christmassy. Um, let's get into a couple boy things. 
So I picked up this. It is Jurassic World eight color pen with the assorted inks. And it's just the Jurassic World. This is for Eric. I'm going to put it in a stocking, I think. Um, he's super into dinosaurs right now. So he's also into Jurassic World, all that stuff. So I thought he loved that. And he always uses those colored inks. Like when he's doing homework and stuff or writing, he likes, he loves those pens. So I thought that that was super cute. Now let's see if I could find all of these. Again, this bag is really full. So I'm trying to make sure I find it all. Uh oh, we have, we have a jumper. We have one that's not on the container. <clears throat> Found them. Okay, I think... I think this is all of them. So I saw these in stores. I went looking for them. I think I found them all. I don't know though, to be honest, if I did or not. But they are little Jurassic World little dinosaurs. And he is loving dinosaurs. He plays with dinosaurs all the time. These, I'm gonna wrap them all together just as one big gift. And I think I found them all, but I don't know because you never know what all they have. I tried to look online and they only show four of them and I found one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So we have an Ankylosaurus. We have the Velociraptor, but more specifically blue from Jurassic World. The jumper is the Triceratops. I'll just tape that on there. The Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur. I always tell Eric that. His is the Spinosaurus, and it's easy to tell because it has a spine, he tells us. We have the T-Rex. The Stegosaurus. Who, I mean, doesn't he also have a spine? Is that a different type of spine? But it's not a Spinosaurus. And then I don't know how to say this one. A Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. He just looks like a lizard to me. But it says Dime. But Dimetrodon. So those are going to be a little Christmas gift for Eric because he loves his dinosaurs. Speaking of dinosaurs, when I picked up a bunch of like the just little single ones, I didn't get this guy. Um, so I grabbed him. I think he's also the Ankylosaurus to add to the just gift of just dinosaurs to go with that. Um, a couple more of these blind bag toy things. I think that there's some more toys in the bottom too. Um, these are adorable and as much as I want to open one, I'm not going to, but they're called Dorables. They're Disney, Disney Dorables. And they're just little big eyed Disney character minis. So cute. Like, I want to open one so bad, but I'm not going to. I find it really interesting. It says distributed by Greenbrier, and they're a Disney brand. So when Greenbrier is having their names on these, I find that so interesting. I don't see it on the little... Oh, yep, it's even on the little Legos up on the corner. So Greenbrier is putting their hands in everything. Same on the Ninja Turtles. So we're finding name brand things, but like Greenbrier's in it. So that just hopefully means that they just keep on bringing it to us because I think that's awesome. So I picked up three of these. Again, I don't know for sure if they'll be for Christmas or if um, I'll hold on to them for Easter. And then actually probably I'll probably do the adorables in these as, in their stockings. So for Braxton, I got the Hot Wheels Build It Surprise Activity. So they're like little ready to assemble plastic car and an instruction sheet in there. So it's just flat, but apparently you open it up and you can build one of these cars. So that's pretty neat. I mean, they don't have real wheels. They'll just be like little like decorational types, but those are cute. And then for Eric, I got him the dinosaurs. Weird, right? Um, I wish I would have looked now for a cheat code I don't think I see one on here because it looks like there's only three of each and had I paid attention to that and I could find I don't see a cheat code though you know sometimes on the blinded bags you can find cheat codes but I don't see them on there so hopefully they each get two different ones but I got those to put in their stockings I thought that would be fun speaking of stocking stuffers so Lorelai and Braxton both have a phone Eric being the youngest doesn't have a phone he's too young yet but we have an extra phone in the household and so he just gets lucky and gets to just always play on the phone and so i got them each some screen cleaning wipes Lorelai has the best deal hers comes in a pack of 25 but i thought that was just a really kind of girly pack and so i thought she'd like that i was going to put that in the stocking to keep her phone clean and then for each of the boys i'm going to put these ones in there um, it says it's good for mobile phones, computer, laptop monitors, and com camera lenses. However, please refer to your device's use and care instructions. I haven't talked much, but their big gift is a computer. 
for this year. So this is double duty on what it's going to be good for for them. And sticking in the technology department, this was on my wish list. I was seeing other people haul these and I was so excited to find them. And that is the charging cables. And so I picked up four of the type C's. These are three foot long. Um, so two of them, these are going to go in each of the boys stockings because Eric again borrows a phone and it needs a charger in um, my husband's truck. And so this will work perfect for that. Braxton needs his own charging cord. And so he's going to get one as well because his is a type C. And then this is going to go in my stocking. The kids always love it when I have stuff in my stocking too. So I like to put stuff in there. And so I'm going to put this one because it's like that pretty kind of purpley pink color in my stocking because my phone uses a type C cord and you just can never have too many cords. And then I figured have an extra because you just just never know when one of them is going to get lost and for $1.25 it is worth it. So this does not say Greenbrier on it. It says Tech Necessities is the brand. Tangle free mesh braided cable. Um, plug into home or car chargers with power banks. Reversible input connector. Sync charge and transfer data. So um, it's made in India for gem accessories. So not Greenbrier, but super neat find. And then I also found the three foot micro USB and we do have random devices still that are the micro USB. And so I thought that that was not bad to have on hand. Um, Smart watches and stuff, they all use the micro USB into their charger. So, um, and the two older ones are getting smart watches for Christmas. So they're used Samsung watches, but uh, new to them and they'll be excited. So I thought that those would be good on, to have on hand and they're longer than the little charger cords that come with those chargers. So those were a neat find. Um, for one of my decorations, I bought the cute little candle holder a while back and hauled it and I needed a candle to put in it. So I finally found the long taper candles. I don't see them all the time. This one almost looks more gray than white, but that's okay. I think it'll look fine in the one because it's just a single candle holder. Back to the tech department. This I was excited to find. They are mouse pads. And I saw on Instagram today, actually, someone found one that was kind of like the um, universe kind of galaxy look. But what I, I only found one print, and I saw these at two different stores, and it was the unicorn print. So I'm going to give this to Lorelai for Christmas because, again, you know, they're big gifts. And then I got two for the boys. And when I found these, my husband said, well, if you find another print that works for one of the boys, get me a black one I could use one at work. And so I picked one up for him. So I'm going to wrap it and put it under the tree. Uh, my husband and I decided we weren't going to really buy each other gifts, but I've gotten him a couple of just little things. So that'll be one of the little things for him. And so the, that was a nice find. <clears throat> Let's see. We are almost at the hall, so I can then show you my Happy Meal. Um, this was a wish list item. I saw Callan from Crazy Days of Callan haul these socks and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have them. So first of all, I found reindeer ones. Uh, I just thought they were cute for the season and I picked them up. I don't know if they're reindeer is more of just deer. Uh, I'll be honest, Kelsey, I picked these up for you and I forgot to put them in your Happy Mail because I hadn't hauled them yet. They were in a different bag. I forgot to stick them in there for you. So I'm going to probably set them aside for the next time I send you something. Um, the motorcycle ones, I don't know if I was thinking particularly of anybody when I picked them up. I just thought they were neat, so I grabbed them. And then these ones are for the kids. Uh, I'll probably either put them in their stockings or just do a roll gift for them. But I got these for Braxton with the little game controllers. Every so often for Spirit Week, they do Crazy Sock Day. Pretty much every spring, I feel like they do Crazy Sock Day. And so I think he would appreciate having those if he wants to wear them for Crazy Sock Day. Same with for Eric, I got him the pizzas. Eric is obviously not a men's size six to 12, but if he wears his cowboy boots, it's nice to have nice tall socks to put underneath them. And he loves his cowboy boots in the winter and he loves pizza. So I thought those were cute. And then for Lorelai, I found these ones. So these are distributed by Breen Grip Briar. So are those because they're the Juncture brand, but these are aromatherapy aloe socks infused with natural aloe vera and vitamin E. So it says aromatic, comfortable, and relaxing. They don't really smell like anything. But they have a cute little unicorn on them, and they're super soft, like super soft. So I thought, you know, the boys can get those two socks, and then 
they didn't have any really cute girl ones that I I guess maybe I didn't really no I looked because I picked these up these are just what jumped out at me so I grabbed those for her to add into her grouping um, here's the other Spongebob gift. So I thought that it would be cute to do those little Spongebob Legos and then you add in the little Spongebob toys and I'm pretty sure I'll do these as um, something for Easter somewhere. Um, they say collect them all so they have different Nickelodeon characters. Ren and Stimpy, Arnold, Shortman. I kind of remember Arnold. I remember Ren and Stimpy just being just, just gross and then Spongebob and Patrick. Um, yeah, none of those are like my favorite. So I picked these guys up because they went with the little Lego sets. So I can do like a little gift set thing out of them. Probably not for my kids, but I can still do it. Uh, these Hot Wheels were new to me. I thought they were just such fun colors. So I thought about doing one for each of the kids. This is a set of five. These are the three that I picked up. The pink, the yellow, and the green. Um, they all say 22 on them. I don't know if that is a reason why they did that maybe for the year, but it's a, I mean, it's a 2007 Camaro. Yep, I got the Camaro, the custom Ford Maverick, and the Sky Dome. So I'm missing the D-Muscle and the Corvette. So um, I just thought they were neat and like super like psychedelic-y kind of. Um, I just like the colors on them. So those might go in their stockings or just might get saved for a future gift somewhere. For my nieces and nephews, um, I'm getting ready to wrap up their gifts, and so I just thought these were super cute. So for my little niece, Maxine, she dressed up as a little piglet for Halloween, and so I just thought this was super cute. I love little Zoom Zooms, and I always want a reason to buy them, so this gave me a reason to pick some up. So I got Piglet for her, and then her brother, who was super energetic, got Tigger, so I'm going to add these into their gifts for their little Christmas gifts. And then Daisy, I always try to find Daisy items and they didn't have any, but they had a Minnie Mouse. So I got her Minnie, cause it kind of goes with some of the Mickey Minnie kind of things I get for her. And Mickey for her older brother, cause they're just so cute. Zoom Zooms are so, so adorable. So I got those for the nieces and nephews. Um, I saw Pookie from Pookie's View. Pookie from Pookie. You know what I'm trying to say, Pookie's View. And I, why can't I ever think of her real name when I talk about her? Um, she hauled these. So these are like the little coil scrunchies inside here. So they're not like elastic. They're the coil ones. But then they have the scrunchie around them. So I have not decided if these are for myself or for Lorelai. Because I like the coil ones. But I feel like the scrunchie just holds my hair better. And so I thought that this might be a nice way to do both. So these might go in my stocking for Christmas. Again, the kids just think it's awesome when I have stuff in my stocking too. Uh, I put stuff in my husband's stocking and so it's just nice even though I'm the one that do it, that does it. I put stuff in my stocking. I've had a couple people on Instagram reach out to me and ask me if I've come across these and I just randomly did the other day. I picked one up because I've had so many people ask me and I was really excited that I did. And it's just the little light up flamingo because I love flamingos. I might put this in my stocking too because how cute is he? Oh my goodness. So just a little light up flamingo. That one had the little thing in it that I just took out. So it means the battery will last, will last me. So super cute. I'm going to throw that in my stocking. Um, I have picked up some chapstick for Braxton already for his stocking. It's red, white, and blue um, chapstick brand. And so I picked this one up for Lorelei. It does, it's the lip balm that turns kind of a faint pink when you put it on your lips. And I figured why not? And so it's grape flavored. Got that for her stocking. And for Eric, I just got the regular chapstick in blue, original flavor. For the pups, I got them the deli turkey sticks to put in their stocking or into a gift probably their stocking for these they just have one stocking that they share their little dogs their little things are small and then lastly i picked up some tape because i've been wrapping gifts and i needed more tape so i grabbed two just so that i have enough on hand so that is the haul guys but let's jump real fast into happy mail because i did not plan for this video to be quite this long but I'm excited. So I got two things of Happy Mail. This one is from Celeste. Celeste, you spoil me so much all the time. I appreciate you so, so, so much because um, you always send me such cute stuff. Your stickers on here are adorable. I cut the top off the gingerbread house, but there's a gingerbread house and a little 
snow globe. That's the word for that. So super, super cute. That's my P.O. box if anyone needs to see it. It's also in the description box down below um, if you ever need to see it. So let's dig in. Look at how cute this is too. This is bubble wrap that is for Christmas. Oh my gosh. So I cheated. I snooped a little. I glanced in here. Um, and it's such cute stuff. So first of all is this. I already have a spot for it. I can't wait to go put it in my front room. Um, it looks like it's an ornament because it has this on here, but I honestly might just do a table set for it because it has the, the base. But it fits perfectly in my black and white cozy cabin room. Oh, on that note, I have not done my home tour. I wasn't ready. I was wrapping gifts yesterday, so my house was kind of a mess. At least my front room was like, or my living room was a big mess covered in wrapping stuff. So I need to get all that cleaned up. And then when I do my home tour, you can see gifts under my tree. It makes them look prettier. So that's coming. And then, oh my gosh, look at these. So these are from Dollar General. That's a dollar, no, Family Dollar? Dollar General. It's either Family Dollar or Dollar General tag. I can't remember. But how cute are these little gingies? Like, so cute. I have Christmas socks on now. This is the season for Christmas socks. Love them. Um, love these guys. I love to have them on hand, too, when I start crafting for Christmas. A lot of my crafts this year, I did a couple, but they all got put on hold because I got so sick and everything got late. Celeste, you commented, you knew, you know that life. Um, two sets of those, which those are some of my favorites. I love them. I have them on one of my things up there. Look at this, guys. So it's a little gingy in a bag. For one, this bag is so cute. It just adds to this little gift. So what it is, I had to snoop. I snooped on this one because I was like, what is he? He's so cute. It's a little gingy keychain. And he holds hand sanitizer. Let me get them both out. So there's two hand sanitizer. There's from, who are these from? Is this Bath and Body? I don't know. But we, I don't know, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, they have Bath and Body there, it says. Um, gingerbread Bakery and Snowy Peach Berry. Oh yeah. For hand sanitizer, that smells delicious. Oh, that, ooh, snowy peach berry, that's where that's at. That I love fruity smells, so that smells so good. And then we have the gingerbread bakery foaming soap. So gingerbread cookies, brown sugar icing, and cinnamon spice. I bet I'm gonna like this so much more than the like super cinnamony ones. Oh yeah, that, that's a good one. I don't love the cinnamon smell, so I have the really cute gingy from Dollar Tree, but the soap itself is too strong on the cinnamon, so this one smells way better, and it's the foaming soap, which I love for the kids especially because how much soap they use on their little hands. The card is coming. It's down here. Um, look at this. So this is such cute. Sorry, I left the door open for the dogs, and they keep running outside. Candy Fetty Hot Cocoa deco Decor Double Chocolate. So for the hot cocoa station, I can't wait to share that with you guys. But this is such fun sprinkles. The kids always love to use these fun ones on their hot chocolate. I didn't buy any new ones this year, so thank you for that. The kids are going to be so excited. We have this cute little bag in here. We're almost done with this one. And this has in it, I love this so much this cute little ornament so it's a little cutting board with little gingies on it and the little gingy a that is so cute the a is so cute it looks just like a little gingy so i can't wait i think i'm gonna put this on my tear tray it might go on my tree too though i don't know it's gonna go on one of them it'll be on one of them for the home tour now we'll to decide what spot is the best and that came also in this cute little bag over here i don't know where this one came from but it is adorable she added in these adorable napkins. These are going to go in my napkin holder because these are so cute. It looks like they came from a party store. Party Creations. So cute. Like perfect for my kitchen. And then we have a card. One of my absolute favorites. I can't wait to hang this on my card wall. Happy Holidays. It's got the gingies. Uh oh, we lost an H. And an I. Oh, there's the H. Some of the some of the gingy letters are trying to escape. How cute! I love these letters though. Look how cute her cards are. Always her cards are always so cute, so cute. So it says Merry Christmas, have an amazing holiday with your family. You do the best cards, Celeste. You always like always do the best cards. All right, let's toss some of that in there, and then I have one more piece of Happy Mail. Ah, I don't have room from my sister that she sent over I don't want to spill it because it's open on the end <clears throat> she 
She also decorated it with some cute stickers. And there's a couple on the front. She sent me these amazing cozy socks. I cheated and I looked in this one too. Again, I have nice cozy socks on. And I like these because they're very winter. So these are perfect for January. Because I feel so sad when I have to put away all my Christmas ones. But those will be good for January. She sent me a card. Um, it's a very sweet card. It says to keep what you want and pass on what you don't. So some of it I might because we have some of it. But um, some more gingies. Again, I'm going to keep these on hand because you never know. I don't know if next year they're going to put them out or not. And I painted some this year and crafted with them. Some of the best licorice ever. My husband and I both love these. The, what is it? Wally, Willy Wallaby. Soft and chewy. All the flavors of these are delicious. Every flavor. So good. All right, puppy dogs. She sent a strawberry eraser. These I'm going to set aside because Lorelai wants to do strawberry next year. And so that way she'll have them um, to have on hand because I know there's another strawberry thing. A dino Lego. I didn't get any of these for Eric. So I will gift this to him. And then in here too was, I think I bought this once and I have no idea what I did with it. So I'm going to give this to Braxton from you. Um, I think he'll dig it because he's been all into gaming and all that stuff lately. So I think he might actually read this and enjoy it. So I'm going to give this to Braxton from you. I'm going to give this to Eric from you. I picked these up too. Um, and I think you also did not get the same one I didn't get. Yeah, so issue two on the adventures one. So down here in this corner, I can't find it. But so these I will gift maybe in an Easter basket. Like I'm going to do some Easter baskets. This a Star Wars Easter basket would be super cute. So that's probably what I'm going to do with these since I have two sets. I haven't decided if I'm giving the set that I bought to Braxton or not for... Oh, there's more of these for um, Christmas or not. We have a couple more Dino Legos. So yep, I'm going to give all of those to Eric from you because he will dig that. And then you thought of all the kids, you thought of strawberries, dinos, and gaming. So all the kids are hooked up. Maybe I'll give Braxton the comics from you and then I'll save the other ones and do those in an Easter basket. That's probably what I'll do. And then I'll give the strawberry stuff to Lorelai and she'll set it to the side for school because every time she sees the strawberry stuff, that's what she says. And she's gonna save it for next year. All right, guys, that is it. That is my Dollar Tree haul, my Happy Mail. Thank you guys so much for being here. So keep an eye out this week. I still am gonna do a home tour. And I am going to pre-record my other haul right now because Thursday, Friday, all the kids are home. Braxton was supposed to go to school till Friday, but we have a frigid cold front coming in where our high is like four on Thursday and we're going to have a wind chill of like negative 12. Let me know down below what your weather's like. If it's like that all the time, I don't know how you do it because it's terrible and it's going to be so cold. So they canceled school for Braxton on Thursday and Friday. Um, today's Tuesday, so I have today and tomorrow to finish wrapping all the gifts so I don't have to stay up all night doing it and just trying to get the house together so that we can just enjoy Thursday and Friday and Saturday until Christmas. So that's my goal is to finish everything today and tomorrow. So I'm going to do another haul today for you guys, but I'm going to put that one out later this week and I'm going to do a home tour probably tomorrow after I get everything all cleaned up. Um, thanks again, guys, for being here. I hope you are all surviving this week. I hope you're surviving whatever it is you're doing. I hope, I hope you're doing good with it because I am exhausted, a little bit stressed out, but excited too, because it's the Christmas season. Thank you, Kenna. Thank you, Celeste. I appreciate you both so very much for sending me a happy mail. Everyone that sent me Christmas cards, thank you. They're up on my wall. Before I do the home tour too, I want to run to my post office and uh, see if there's anything else I need to grab because I want to make sure that they're all up and I'm enjoying them. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I can't wait until I see you next time. Bye guys.